Welcome to EPG Patshala. In the paper Web Application Development using PHP, today I am going to deliver a session on built in number and date function. As we aware that number can be either integer or floating value. Integer number stores the whole number and the number can have positive sign or negative sign. If the sign is omitted then the number is positive means it is optional. Negate uh, the we can say fraction number or floating number is also known as a double or real number or decimal number. This number is used to store any value. The value for integer number is also very large like uh, the range for integer number is minus 21474836472 to positive 21474836472 and fraction number has a large value. If the number is very large it can be represented by exponential form. The general uh, way to represent exponential form is first you write mantissa then e and then you write exponent. Mantissa can be either integer or float but the exponent part is always integer value. Say for example if you write 3.e4 that means 3.5 multiply 10 raised to 4, 3.5e4 it means 3.5 multiply 10 raised to 4. Same way 3.5e minus 2 that means 3.2 into 10 raised to minus 2. So, it can store very large number. The range for uh, I would say that uh, for exponent is uh, uh, minus 307 to plus 308 and uh, uh, you can exponent sign as a mantis or determine overall number is either positive or negative. If the number is outside range of double range then it will be treated as a infinite and uh, it can be positive or negative and uh, it is represented by constant name inf. So, negative infinity is represented by constant name minus inf and if you divide and even divided by infinite then it will return 0. Let me take some example to understand this value. So, let me open my notepad file. So, here I open my notepad file and, and let us start to write simple PHP coding. So, here I write starting PHP tag and closing PHP tag file save as and I would like to save this file on my WAMP folder at www.epg and here I create new folder give this folder name is number to store number function and let me create give it name 1 number dot php. So, here I define dollar max the maximum value is represented by constant php underscore int underscore max. Let me present this value echo br maximum positive value is colon and let me write or I can use interpolation dollar max. So, I do not need to provide concatenation by providing dot and then write the variable name. Let me start my WAMP server to show the value. This is the maximum value for any integer number that we can get it. So, WAMP server is start. It is changed from red to green now. Now, I can run the code for the same. So, this is the value 21474836 So, this is the maximum value uh, or you can check for dollar mean is assigned to php underscore int underscore mean for minimum value or you can uh, represent it by multiply 1 but, but maximum value it will be support. Now, infinite you can re represent as dollar inf as a constant inf. Let me print echo br the infinite value is dollar 
i n f so it will represent infinite value so let me save this one if i refresh this page it will return i n f and we know that if we multiply anything with infinite let me represent dollar multiplication is 10 multiply dollar i n f so it will return echo let me type b r 10 multiply let me write here dollar inf is equal to dollar multiplication so we know that multiplication with infinite is always infinite let me show this so 10 into infinite is infinite if i anything divide with infinite so i write division is 10 divided by dollar inf and echo br 10 divide dollar div is is equal to dollar div so anything divided by infinite is of course 0 so this should display 0 because 10 divided by I write div so it is uh, represented as a div or I write 10 divided by my variable div so this div is actually treated or converted value as 0 that is why it represent this and if any variable is infinite or not for that there are built in functions this two functions is helpful to check whether the variable is infinite or not say for example if I check test so i write dollar answer is is underscore infinite dollar multiplication and then i write this will return true if this is infinite then it will return true then i check if dollar answer is equal to true then you can say echo br answer is or you can write dollar answer is infinite else echo br dollar answer is not infinite semicolon so I just save this one so we check dollar answer is is infinite or not let me execute that so it says 1 is infinite the reason is it will return 1 or I can directly write dollar answer is 1 if is infinite Here I can or dollar answer we know that so we can simply write if dollar answer is 1 or true then I say dollar answer is infinite so this means it is infinite 1 is written because it is true so these are the two function to test whether the number is infinite or not there are many built in functions let us take one by one so here I discuss one by one the next function is abs to test whether the value variable is has absolute value or not say for example i define dollar a is assigned to minus 2 and then i can say echo br absolute value of a is let me concatenate it and the built in function abs dollar a so we know that absolute will give magnitude so here minus 2 means it will represent 2 so i refresh this so absolute value of a is 2 same way there is a cell and a floor function so cell function returns the value rounded up the next highest integer number while floor returns the value rounded to the next lowest integer number let me say for example if i write dollar b is 3.49 and I write dollar cell is equal to cell dollar b and check echo br dollar b is 
cell colon dollar cell so 3.49 and it is next highest integer number so it will be converted to 4 because it is 3.49 if i write dollar floor is assigned to floor dollar b then i can write echo br dollar b is floor and its value is dollar floor so it should display 3 because 3.49 so the floor value is 3 here you can check for various values say for example if there is a 3.5 and of course cell will work in the cell and floor has no change but this change will be reflected when i apply round function so the next function is max and mean value so let me write dollar max is assigned to max and then i provide any value let's say write 10 12 25 17 and 19 and then you can write echo br maximum value is dollar max same way you can check for mean is assigned to mean and 10 12 25 17 and 19 and you can type echo br minimum value is dollar mean so that provide you maximum and minimum value of the parameter you have passed in the function you can check maximum is 25 and minimum is 10 the next function is pi which represent the value of pi we know that pi is a irrational number so you can check dollar pi is assigned to pi this is actually one function and you can type echo br value of pi is dollar pi so this pi is a function that will represent value of pi i have to save this file and now refresh it in the browser so it is 3.14 but these all are significant digit that you can get it here the next function is power function that will give you the power of any number let's say for example dollar power is assigned to power 2 raise to 3 so we know that 2 raise to 3 is 8 so you can write echo br power of 2 raise to 3 is dollar power so it is 8 okay line 34 undefined function power okay it is p o the name of that function is dollar p o v so i have to just save this one and refresh this one so it is 2 raised to 3 z i have to write dollar p o v the next function is round so it takes one compulsory parameter value and optional parameter precision if precision is omitted then this will be zero but if precision is negative then this function is rounded the whole number to that particular value and if positive then it will be provide that type of value let's say for example here i define dollar num is assigned to 1234.5678 now i can say dollar round is assigned to round dollar num and up to two decimal point so i will write echo br dollar num is rounded to two decimal point is dollar round so it should be display 57 because 8 7 these are greater than 5 that's why it should display 257 
if here if I write 3 then it should display 5 6 because 3 is less than 5 so it should display 56 uh, so now as I say is this is positive if I put minus 2 that means it will consider this 2 value 3 4 so it is less than 5 0 so it is should display as a 1 2 double 0 let me show you right but if there is a 1 5 3 4 and uh, sorry 1 2 let me write 5 4 so 5 4 is greater than 5 even uh, first let me show for 5 4 then you can check for 5 0 also so it should be 1 3 double 0 even though there is a 0 it will be treated as a this value but if it is 4 9 1 2 4 9 so it is less than 5 0 so it will display 1 2 double 0 so this is round which will be again very helpful function numeric function uh, then you can use square root and empty random this function is using random generation for Mernes twister function let me apply square root so I directly write dollar sqrt is sqrt for let us say for example 64 and I can say echo br square root for 64 is dollar sqrt so I have saved this file and execute this so square root 64 is 8 and you can apply dollar mt is the function is mt underscore rnd for random value so mt underscore rnd takes two parameter minimum value and maximum let's say for example for dice there is a value between 1 to 6 so you can write mt echo br random value is dollar empty so you can get each time random value if i execute this let me make zoom it so you can clearly visualize it so this time it is 4 now it is 5 6 4 2 6 so any random value you can get 4 etc so this all are number functions the next point is type casting so sometime you may require that number is in one data type let us say for example it is an integer and you want to convert into double or number is in double and you want to convert into integer so at that time the type casting is helpful uh, say for example if let me create new file I give this file name as a php and save this file as a file save as two typecasting dot php so let me show demo of that one let's say for example dollar value is assigned to 31.8 and then you can say dollar int value is assigned to now i want to convert into integer so i will write into bracket int and dollar value and let me display echo br value is dollar value and echo br int value br and int value is and let me write dollar int value so i have saved this file let me show you this demo by run this file so it is 31.8 is converted into 31 same way if your dollar variable 1 is assigned to 37 and only dot and you uh, write dollar float is assigned to you can write here float dollar variable 1 now you display echo br float is and dollar float so save this it should display 37.0 uh, it is show 37 let me display float values is not provided here but though it is integer it will not display 37.0 uh, 
because I write here 37. 37.1 or 2 so float will be float the next thing you have to remember in type casting is that if there is a string and you want to convert it into integer or number then what's happen let's say for example here i define dollar variable 2 is assigned to i define 37.6 degree celsius or degree i just simple write and write dollar answer is assigned to let me write float as it is float value dollar variable 2 and write echo br answer is dollar answer so though it is a string value but you convert it it will take only numeric value so it should display 37.6 uh, whether you can write it in double quote or you can test for single quote as well because it does not make much difference. So, it is 37.6. Uh, then, if you write dollar variable 3 is let me write here degree 37.6 and now you convert it as a dollar answer 2 is again I check for float dollar variable 3 and echo let me write br degree is dollar answer 2 I have to write answer 2 a n s 2 so it is answer 2 it should be 0 because first if there is a string it will be treated as a 0. So, the degree is 0. So, this all are type casting example and if value is too large then it will be not fit into data type then it will be converted into integer. Say for example, if you write dollar variable 3 is assigned to and you want to check echo br dollar variable 3 so either it will display integer or it may display into exponent form so this all you can apply with number now to display number in particular format the esprit function is used and it takes uh, two parameter minimum the first one is format which is and then second one is you can provide value and the format parameter can take only few value like uh, s d and f s for string d for integer f for double or decimal for character you can use c for binary you can use uh, uh, s d and f only this three value you can take say for example if there is a written dollar message is this and you want to print this let me show by example so here i write s print if n message and then i run it so it will display I haven't saved this file let me first save this file and refresh this one so it will display the book on PHP as 453 pages so it is all about s printf function uh, let's move to the next point so let me show some of this again demo for s printf function so here I create one file let me just demonstrate that as printf.php the first one I have taken then if you use percentage C so it will be show character value and we know that 65 is A you can write 42 with 6 decimal places let me run this then you can get idea so ASCII character of 65 is this the value 42 padded with 6 0 if you for that you have to write percentage 0 6 D to represent in 2 date month format you can write 0 to d hyphen 0 to d and 4 d so it will return date as a this format and the value in hexadecimal format or floating point that value you can use 0 6 2 f that means total 6 digit including the dot out of 2 will be after decimal plus so these are the various format that you can use with s printf function you can use a percentage x also let me write dollar s5 is equal to s print f and I can write percentage x 
and value is 1 2 let me write 2 4 8 so in hexadecimal it will display echo br hexadecimal value of 248 is $s5 so this will represent this value is f8 because we know that in hexadecimal number base is 15 if i use capital x then it will display in capital format or you can represent in binary value also by providing percentage b say for example if i write percentage b and 65 and i write binary value of 65 is so we know that one then all are zero up to the one digit so this is in binary this is 65 so this is about s printf function now let's move to the date function so in date function i will cover about date function date time object in its function and date interval object and in function so php is used time step to display date and time now this uh, timestamp is used an integer to store number of second pass since midnight on January 1st 1970 Greenwich time and this point of time is known as a Unix epoch and uh, timestamp is stored as a 32 bit sign integer number by most system in the world. So it can store range value from December 13 uh, 1901 to January 19 2038. So the problem is that when if any system reaches at that point after that it will be considered as a 1901 so this problem is very similar to the problem face as a y2k so this problem is also known as a y2k 38 because after 2038 you may have uh, that type of problem and one solution to solve that problem is that you can using date time object to store date now let's the first useful function is date function so the date function is create and format timestamp is date the syntax is date you provide dollar format and optionally timestamp if you not provide timestamp it will be take the current timestamp uh, let's say for example we create one date function and these all are various format options available for date if you write j so it will write day of month without leading zeros d small so it will be day of month with leading zero capital D for day of week in three letter L N M etc let me write one example of that so here I will create new file in PHP so save this file let me save this file file save as and create new folder in EPG and give that folder name as a date in date here I create one date dot PHP so here you can write dollar date is assigned to date and the format is here I write let me I want to display today is month day and okay first let me write that way so you get idea dmy and write echo br today is though I am uh, correct because it is 2015 but I store as a 16 I write dollar date so it will be display according to the date and time set on my server so let me open this file to execute it I move to the EPG and the folder is date date.php so it will display 24 June 2016 right here it display only 16 if I want to display in capital I have uh, four letter here then I have to use capital Y say for example if I represent here so it will display that way let me write uh, echo okay let me write dollar date 2 is assigned to date and I can write capital M for month name as three character D capital S for providing prefix like 24th etc comma capital Y our 
colon minute am or pm and write echo br day 2 is and dollar date 2 so save this file and let me show you so it will display date time and am pm also so this all are various format available for date there are lots of format available as i provided here you can use h capital h for 24 hour format with leading zero small h for 24 hour format without leading zero small g for tell hour format i for minute s for second a or pm capital and lowercase and u for sin second since unix epoch now there are some built-in functions which work with uh, timestamp So let me show this one. This is the first function is time, which returns the current date and time as a timestamp. Say for example, let me create dollar time is assigned to time, and I can say echo br time is dollar time. So save this one. So, it will represent timestamp. This is the number of second pass since January 1st, 1970. As I say there, and this does not take any parameter. You can use make time to return timestamp based on the parameter you pass. You can also use check date function to check whether uh, it is a correct date or not. Say, for example, you can write dollar check is designed to check date and it will take month so let me provide two day is 29 and year is 2015 and i write echo br check is dollar check Save this value, execute this. So, this is not uh, the correct date, it why that is why it returns 0 or and display anything null value. But if I make 28, it should return 1 because it is the correct value. And you can see that a value of timestamp is pass as number of seconds is passes there. So, this all are you can same way use make time to and get that to return an error having parts of timestamp. If timestamp is omitted, it will return current date and time. Say for example, you can check echo br get date is dot get date and it will return timestamp or date of two days. Uh, this is array so you cannot write it that way you let me use uh, here the function does not take any parameter but it returns an array so I can write print underscore r as we know that this is the one function which is used to display any of that value so I have just saved this file open this and run it so it is a second is this minute is this hour day working day month year weekday friday month is this and this is the timestamp so this all are built-in functions that you can work with it this is again example you can check dollar dt is okay i have date time here string to then another function is string to time function so string to time is a function which is used to convert string into time these are the sum of the example let me just show you by example let me write string to time plus one hour so here i just paste it, that one and write string to time echo br after one hour it is dollar 
date 4 and what is current value for that let me write dollar current is assigned to date and uh, I have to uh, provide any timestamp or any timestamp value but uh, if I not provide let me write simply time so this will represent the timestamp so let me write echo and br current is dollar current and here I write string to time plus one hour so save this file let me run this one so look at here the difference between this two value 82048 and 85648 so we know that 33600 second within one hour difference so you can check the value by using that functions so this all are built-in functions that we can use for string to time and it takes minus two days next sunday etc this value uh, then the date time class is used to work with date and time using object oriented way to create date time object pass any string to date and time and the constructor the string pass constructor which is any string accepted by string to time function the general syntax is very similar and these all are again functions that can be used with date and time let me show one example say for example here i write dollar let me comment as date time and i write dollar dt is new date time so it will take this one then dollar dt and format So to provide format the same let's say I write D M and Y this is my format or I can write echo directly D T dollar format save this one let me demonstrate it by execute it okay I provide one BR here to get idea echo BR D T is br so it will display its value and here the value is in the form of this one you can provide any format by providing this format function then you can use set date function to set date say for example let me write dollar dt and set date and it takes three parameter first you have to provide year month and date so you can write 2016 month is let's say May and date is 21st now you write echo BR dollar DT and format the format again let me write D M d s comma y hour minute and am or pm so save this one so it will display the particular date is may 21st 2016 5 32 pm because i haven't represent date and time same way you can use set time get timestamp to get current uh, light you can write echo BR current timestamp is dot get time stamp. So this is the built-in function that will give you timestamp. T is capital. So I have to write here get timestamp semicolon. Save this one and execute this one. Let me write dollar dt and get timestamp here because i haven't write object that's why it shows error so that will return current timestamp so these are built-in functions that you can work with this one then this is again i take all this format and option 
you can use uh, new data in any of that format to represent this value uh, now this is one good example let me just show you by providing so here I make copy paste to give idea about that one and let me save this so this will actually return create one variable invoice date is using date time object and provide date of year month year and date uh, and time both and then we create clone of that and then we use format and then you can use modify function because this uh, there is a modify function is also available so if you modify and write plus four weeks so it will return that particular value let me save this file and execute this one so invoice date is March 23 and after four week it is April 20 so this is some useful function that you can use with this and uh, this OLR function will be very helpful to you same way you can check for two more and all this value now the next point is date interval class so this is used to represent span of time and the syntax is new date interval and you can provide dollar string the string must start with p for period of time and uh, it can take t to represent period of time these are some of the example that i have shown here if you write p for begin interval code if you write p 2y that means it is 2 year if you write p 3m that means 3 month p 2y 6m that means 2 year 6 months a number of span same way number of weeks number of days etc this is one example if you write new date interval p 30d so it will store interval of 30d and when you print it it will show this is one array the value it store uh, you can write new date interval p1 by 23d so one year 23 days pt1 h2 m12 that means one hour two minute and 12 second and you can provide p and t both combine also when you assign is and to display interval format function uh, the format function is used and uh, it has following syntax and the code for this one is percentage r for sign of interval percentage y for year percentage m for months percentage d for days same way for minute sec uh, hour minute and second is h i and s this is one example so that will represent that way and now you can use date interval and date time class together and these are the some functions that will be helpful to that you can use eight dollar interval to add dollar interval time sub dollar interval to use subtract the interval time and difference to differentiate that let's take one example of this one so here i create new file by writing php and php let me write dollar voting is assigned to new date interval and p 18 y so i save this file file save as let me get two and i check is for display voting age dot php so i save this one then i define dollar dob is assigned to new date time so this is create one object now the function can be helpful is subtract so i can write dollar dob and sub dollar voting let me create dollar answer is assigned to this and i can write echo br to what you must be born on or before dollar answer let me save this one and let me run this code uh, so it says object of class cannot be converted to string on line 5 ok so I have to provide dollar answer let me directly write this one dot and this save this one 
execute this okay it is not converted so i have to provide by formatting so let me write dollar answer is this and here i have to write dollar dob and so not you have to write uh, sub but you can write dollar dob and format and let me provide format here day month year so i just save this file because i have to use object and let me run this now so it says to what you must be born on or before 24 june 1998 because here i define is 18 let's say if i define here 21 then it will calculate that way but we know that for uh, voting in our country the age is 18 year you should be great, greater than or equal to 18 year so that way you can combine both this function uh, this is the example i have taken so let's summarize first we take number function and for then we discuss for date time timestamp then date functions and formatting string to time function date time object and its function date interval and its function and how you can use date time and date interval works together there are again many functions available these all are few references that i have used this and thank you for watching this lecture